USD is proud to announce the launch of Navion, an exciting college and career readiness planning program for MISD secondary students. Today we are going to demonstrate how to log in to Navion using a sample student from MHS. Then we'll model a few key features of the student portal. Begin by opening your browser and entering the URL www.navions.com. In the upper right you'll see a tab titled Students and Families Sign In. Click and enter your postal code. In the pop-up window you'll see a list of schools. Select your school. This is your school's Navion student portal. We recommend that you bookmark this screen so you can return to it directly. Your username is the letter S followed by your student ID number. Your password will be the same as the one you use for the Home Access Center, except any lowercase letters will need to be entered as capitals in your Navion's password. Once you're logged in, you'll see a welcome screen. I want to show you several features. First, in the upper left, you'll see an orange home button. You can click here at any point to return to this welcome screen. Let's look around this screen. You'll see several tabs across the top. We'll return to those in a few moments. Also, under our welcome message, you'll see your counselor's name and email address. Feel free to click on it to send us a message. Next, look at the column on the left. You'll see it's divided into pages and links. Pages provide information organized by topic. For instance, when I click on financial aid, I'll see information and links to further reading. Let's return to the home screen. Underneath the pages area, is a links area. You can click on the link to open the URL in a new tab. For instance, when I click on school website, the MHS website will pull up. Next, look at the column on the far right of the screen. First, you'll notice an icon for the App Store. Yes, there is an app for your Apple smartphone, but we'll cover that in another video. Underneath this, you'll see a mail icon. We will be able to send you messages and invite you to events using this system. Also, please notice the link for the document library. Here you will find handouts from your counselors on all kinds of topics. To access them, click on Document Library. Then click on the folder for that topic. Please note the folder called Naviance Instructions. You'll want to return here to view videos that will help, like this one. Now let's look at a sample handout. If I click on Academic and Testing Resources, then click View, I'll be open, able to open the Study Skills document. Let's return to the home page to access some other exciting features. Under the Courses tab, you'll be able to see the classes you've taken and the grades you've earned. You can also make a course plan for each year of high school. Finally, you can search the course catalog to learn about MISD course offerings and even record your thoughts about the plans you've built. For instance, when I click on Interesting Courses, I can browse the course catalog, I can enter a search term, or browse alphabetically. The courses will populate here, and I can drag my cursor over it, I can add it to my list of interesting courses or view more information. Once I've added it to my list of interesting classes, on the left here, when I click on interesting courses, I'll see a list of classes I've saved to learn more about. Be sure to check out the Naviance Instructions tutorials for more details on building plans. Now let's explore the Colleges tab. First, notice the upcoming college visit area. We'll list colleges that will come to visit campus. You can click on details for more information or to register. You'll spend a lot of time in the Colleges tab, but for now we'll start by showing you how to access a college profile. Click 
on College Lookup, type in Austin College. Notice you can also look by letter or search by state. Click on the college name. A profile will populate with information on admissions, financial aid, majors, and student life. We'll also see a link to the school website. Click it will open it in a new window. You can also add this college to a list of colleges you're thinking about. On the left hand side you'll see this area of colleges I'm thinking about. Click there. You'll see Austin College along with any other colleges that you have saved. Be sure to check out Navion's instructions tutorials for details on more great college searching features. Now let's visit the Careers tab. Here you'll be able to take career assessments, explore career fields, and access the Road Trip Nation interview library. Let's begin by looking at Explore Careers and Clusters. You can search by keyword, browse alphabetically or by category, or you can choose a pathway. Click on Agricultural, Food, and Natural Resources. You can explore each tab for information on related careers, related majors, and even plans of study. Under the overview, you'll be able to access information about connecting pathways. You'll also be able to see additional information on this left hand. You can add the entire cluster to your list as well. Let's look at an individual career profile. Come to Related Careers. Click on Agricultural Science Teachers. You'll link to a profile that includes information on knowledge and skills, tasks and activities, and even wages associated with that particular job. Under the overview, you'll also be able to see related college majors, and you can search for colleges that offer that program. Additionally, there's even a video you can watch that will tell you a little bit about that job. To add this career to your list, Scroll up to the top and click. Once this career is on your list, when you go back to the career tabs, you can find it under Favorite Careers and Clusters. You'll see your list of potential careers and potential clusters to learn more about. Speaking of lists, for the last part of this video, I want to show you the tabs About Me and My Planner. Beginning with About Me, this is a shortcut to all of the personalized information you have in Navions. You'll be able to see the colleges and careers on your lists. You'll be able to add information about goals. There's even a journal section. You can save a copy of your resume and other important documents. You can even view your basic information including your GPA and rank. I also want to point out on the left hand side there's an area called surveys to take. Periodically, your counselors will place a survey here. You can take the survey by clicking on the title, answering the questions, and hitting Submit at the bottom. Finally, Naviance has a built-in planner to help you keep up with your assignments each week. You can create a to-do item by clicking on the to-do list, add a to-do, title it, Assign it a due date, and click Add. You'll see that there are icons associated with it, and it will tell you if it's overdue or on time. To add a note about it, click on the text box. View section you'll be able to see your week at a glance, things that are due today, and things that are coming up next. Let's return to the home screen. Once again, we'd like to show you in the document library where you can find information about how to do different tasks in Naviance. We 
also hope that you'll spend some time exploring the different tabs and learning about different colleges and careers. We encourage you to reach out to your counselors as you're working with the site. We hope that this video has helped you learn a little bit about the program. We look forward to teaching you more over the year ahead.